All right, we've got living proof that the black wife effect is real. Travis Kelsey, before, when he used to date black girls, apparently. Travis Kelsey now, he dates Taylor Swift. He looked like he went from smelling like Creed to smelling like rich mahogany. He looks like the type of guy that might sit his nieces and nephews on his lap and tell them a story before bed. He looks like the type of guy that smokes a pipe and wears slippers at home. Magnum PI vibes. I'm getting Magnum PI vibes, guys. He does look like the type of guy that might smile like this. So that moustache overhangs his bottom lip as well as his top lip. Ohio State police officer. That strict Ohio State police officer that might pull you over for a brake light, but then let you go last minute. You'll stay safe, buddy. Hmm... You made us look good, Travis Kelsey, here. Here, I'm not so sure. 1970s porn star. Yeah. Hey, guys. So let's talk about the black wife effect. Also, there's also the black girlfriend effect or black girl effect that recently went viral. Um, I'm, I'm sure by now that some of you must have seen it. And just in case you've not seen it, it's just this trend where uh, either men or women are showing the before and after, like before being the white man, before they met their black girlfriend, how their life changed, their style, their social life and all, how it changed for better. And let's, to be honest, I'm, I'm trying not to, to hold, my, I'm trying to hold myself back. But looking at this Kelvy, Kelsey, is it Kelsey's own? Like he's so blunt at what is the reason why? Like it's making me want to believe in this, in this, you know, black girl, or black wife affecting well let me allow you guys to listen to people people are reacting to it they're sharing their opinion on you know what they think about it and i also want you to i also like you to drop in the comment section what what your opinion is about it is this something you've experienced personally do you know somebody around you that experienced it or what do you think will be the the reason behind all that is it is, is it a function of you know the girl having high fashion style or is a function of immaturity on the guy's part that oh I used to be I used to be reckless or you know I used to be careless about my style I used to be careless about my grooming but now I'm a matured man I know better so I'm doing better for my girl or could it be that the girl is drawing out a better version of the man what do you think could be the could be the real reason behind that but let me allow you to you know listen to what these folks have got to say today. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have seen the trend here on TikTok where it's like a white guy gets a black wife and he glows up. He goes from looking like he plays Mario Kart for a living to looking like the cool uncle at the cookout. We all, every black family, a lot of black families got one of them and I ain't even mad at them. Cause bro, the glow up be crazy. You'd be like, how is this gonna turn out? And then bro, got a tape up, dressing nice, looking good, look happy as hell. And it's a whole big thing, right? The reason I'm talking about this is because last week, in the most unproblematic way ever, like the draft happened, you just saw a bunch of young black men who are athletes, right? Sitting on the couch, nervously looking at a TV. Next to him was a pretty white girl and fucking TikTok went crazy. 30 minute slam poetry think pieces on why they hate themselves and they can't get them a black queen. How oh, this is fucked up. This is a... Oh man, and it's all this shit. But this week, it ain't, like, if you go look at those comment sections, it's all love. It's all love and shit, it's love for me too. I ain't never gonna be mad at somebody who got them a pretty woman who when they look like they shouldn't have got them a pretty woman. Bro got him one, and, he, and then she, she, she leveled him up at the same time. I ain't never gonna be mad at bro. He won, Re really, those men? Those men are winning at life. And I guess my, my, my question is, why is there always this one-sided like argument? And it really be an argument. Y'all be on black men's asses on social media. Why is it like this? Bryce had a whole thing, like I was a college athlete. This is why, da, 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 da. Really explaining the real life shit behind it. Y'all wouldn't try and hear that. There were other black dudes who were like, white women are nice to me. 
y'all need y'all y'all be fucking up the movements that's really what be going on because black women and white women in real life are just as nice to me the only time black women are mean to me is on social media <laughs> literally in real life all these women are nice like at first at least like what the fuck unless you piss them off i've never like I've never had these experiences y'all be saying y'all have with black women. That's just a side note. I ain't never been cussed out or no crazy shit. Not even by my mama, nigga. I don't know. I have heard stories by people who are very close to me. It's just never happened to me. But I date all races. The massive majority, of, I'm married now to a white woman. I know y'all hate me. But like the massive majority of the women I dated throughout life were black women. And I had nothing but like good experiences overall. Fuck is we talking about? But it's just like when this argument comes up, it's always some shit. It's always some shit in one direction. Like, is this that mate guarding shit that people be talking about? Because maybe mate guarding is something that women feel and men don't. Because I, bro, what? I never give a fuck. Baby, you did your thing with him. Good, good, good. <laughs> shit, good for y'all. I, I'm happy. I just think it's a bit hypocritical. That's all I'm saying. The black wife effect is real. Okay, this is something that needs to be studied in universities. I don't believe in much. But I believe in the black wife effect, and soon you will too. This is me before I met my wife. I look like if Machine Gun Kelly was anemic. I look like Water Gun Kelly. Who parted my hair? Moses? And how do I look like a little boy and an old woman at the same time? Like, this should be an illegal build. Enter the black wife. Which I do every chance I get. You can't tell me that's not a miracle. You can't tell me that's not an improvement. What? Do you see this? Call me a leaky ceiling? Because I got the drip. This one's just a thirst trap. I'll give you a sec. Dude, night and day. And I'm not just talking about our skin colors. The black wife effect? Give it the Pulitzer. Give it the Nobel Prize. Give it an Oscar. Give it a Tony. Make it an EGOT. Fucking black wife effect, man. Hey, ladies. So with this black wife effect trend going on of people showing like their husbands before they met them and now their husbands now and how much better looking and well off they are, people are now resurfacing this quote from Ben Horowitz, a billionaire, that he made back in 2016. This is nothing new of him saying that most billionaires prefer black wives. He went on to say that it's because we are very loyal and we provide a stable foundation for them. And there have been a couple of very dusty, regular looking black men on the internet who are upset about us praising this fact because he's saying that y'all are giving them too much credit for saying the bare minimum. Baby, let's not get into the discussion of praising people for the bare minimum. I promise you that's not where you want to go. That's not what you want to do, babes. Moreover, we really shouldn't be surprised or shocked or anything because there are countless millionaires and billionaires with black wives and they're not even all white. David Lloyd Stewart, one of the only black billionaires. He's the owner of Worldwide Technology. Black wife, baby. Ted Sarandos, CEO of Netflix. The, the man that has provided you with countless Netflix and chills. Black wife. George Lucas, creator of Star Wars. Black wife. Peter Norton, creator of the Norton Home Security. Black wife, baby. So let's not play. This is not brand new. This is not. No, 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 baby. They've been on this. Y'all are the ones that didn't realize it. And what's more, what's so hilarious about this is that looking at the media and looking at the men like that we see as rich and wealthy, the athletes, the basketball players, the football players, the rappers, they get a little money and they decide they want a white wife. Nothing wrong with that. Do what you do. Like what you like. I'm not mad at you. But the men with the real money, the generational money, black wife, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Get into it. I'm seeing so much negative backlash from this black wife effect trend. Let me just tell y'all, as a man who's been married for 11 years to a black woman, your woman is going to affect how you dress regardless. It starts off with, oh, maybe you should wear this shirt instead of that one. This shirt looks better with the jeans. Here, maybe you should get some accessories, maybe a chain. And then they put you on the cocoa butter, making sure that you're moisturized throughout your entire body. Because for some reason, black women can sense dry skin from a mile away. And most of us guys, we really only use lotion on our common parts. And then they get to throwing away your clothes and replacing it with stuff that they like. Danielle threw away my whole wardrobe. I'm still looking for shirts that I had before I met her. She hated my zoo suits with the long coat. I was pimping. 
And then she went to the hair. She the one who told me to go ahead and let it go and grow a beard. I was cool being naked face. I used to think I was a dresser. I used to think I had swag. And now all of my confidence in choosing clothes is gone out the window. And I just put on whatever she tells me to wear. But ladies, I want y'all to take notes. Because we'll sit here calm, cool, and collected while y'all change us into the man that y'all want. And as soon as we say one little thing about a hairstyle that we don't like, it's the end of the world. I want a white man. I do not want a wigger. Do not be mad at Big T, y'all ask. They whoever love you, love you. I don't give a fuck if the motherfucker was orange, blue, black, orange, purple mix. But I feel like it's always been so weird when I'm talking about black women specifically because that's who the trend is about. That's what y'all tag me in. I've always felt like it was so weird to go outside your race to make your partner look like the man that you don't want to date. It truly gives, I want the black man aesthetic without the black man problems. Y'all ask me to talk about it, do not be mad. And I don't mean any offense to any women that follow me that have different race husbands. That's not my agenda. I've dated an Asian man and I've dated a white man. The white man was trying to act like a wigger. It's given imposter. It's always been weird to me that y'all would go give them the black man signature hair clip, put them on the black man clothes, like, and let's not act dumb like we don't know what I'm talking about here because I ain't got time for the goofies that be in the comments like, that's not only for black people. Shut up! Shut up! Because you know exactly what I'm saying. If I'm going to go outside my race and I'm going to date a white man, I want a white man. I do not want a wigger. And then it's a lot of trauma around black relationships in general. But I, I also got to call y'all out because if a black man was on here doing that with a white woman, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do what you going to do, jazz your man up. But to make them appear more black per se, mm -hmm. drop a green heart. Because I made the video for this. So if y'all want these, drop a green heart. Love you, messy boots. Look, I know everybody else has seen it on their floppy, but I'm seeing this black wife effect on TikTok. And uh, look, I'm just saying, I'm on the market. And uh, it's got me feeling a certain kind of way. So, yeah. The black wife effect is real. Okay, this is something that needs to be studied in universities. I don't believe in much, but I believe in the black wife effect and soon you will too. Enter the black wife which I do every chance I get. You can't tell me that's not a miracle. You can't tell me that's not an improvement. What? Dude, night and day. And I'm not just talking about our skin colors. The black wife effect? Give it the Pulitzer. Give it the Nobel Prize. Give it an Oscar. Give it a Tony. Make it an EGOT. Fucking black wife effect, man. All I can see is that I actually enjoyed, or oh, I, I still enjoy coming across videos of this trend because for me, it's a testament of how you can be your best, your best fashion when you are with somebody that allows you or gives you a thriving environment, somebody that doesn't, you know, try to, you know, stampede on your joy, that, you know, showers you with love, that appreciates you that gives you everything, you know, that gives you the best. Not somebody that, you know, that you are constantly having to watch yourself around. So that's the way I see it. I see this as a positive effect. And also, I see it as one of these trends that will help people, you know, stop being bad to their partners. That's the way I see it. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And take care of yourselves, guys. Bye.